I know that the audience out there, sometimes we have this mindset, we're like, ah, I'm not gonna listen to a salesman, but these are genuine truths that can help. And if you go into a customer, I know for sure, because I know you, that you're there to support a customer. You're there to help a customer. And if it's a Matt Sir machine, or if it's something else that's gonna best support them, that's the type of person you are. That's the type of people that are at Matt Sura. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTDC and C North America. I am with my buddy Billy, and we're going to talk a bit about Matt Sura. Now, there's so many testimonials out there about this pallet change system allowing them to do more with lights out machining and allowing no operators to actually stand in front of it and run it all the time, which ultimately is the goal to keep that spindle turning and one way to reduce the overall skills gap. Matt Sura is a leader in that. So we're gonna take a little bit of a sales perspective and not just a customer testimonial to help you all learn some of the attributes that come from that position. So Billy, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit about Matt Sura from a sales perspective. If I'm one of the guys looking, or gals, there's a lot of those out there as well. If Absolutely. I'm one of the folks out there looking for a new machine and I have, eh, it doesn't matter, low batches, high batches, lots of products coming through, right? Creativity, whatever it might be, but you're telling me why it would be a good idea to invest in Matt Sura. What would some of those bullet points be? It's no longer just about five axes, it's about five axes automation. With Matsura building our own um, automation, pallet system is part of the unit, it's part of the system. It is one, one system. So the automation that we provide through Matsura um, solves the problems with uh, finding skilled labor, running lights out. In today's competitive world, I don't know how people compete without running lights out and without, or without running unmanned. And I don't mean just three hours, four hours. I mean, we've got a machine here that we try to target 20 hours of runtime per, per day and 72 hours over the weekend for 25 years. Wow. And let's be honest, Billy, you and I go into a lot of shops, right? We yes. see some real creativity and yes. we see some real, real struggle as well. Yes. And as you mentioned, it's not about convincing someone about five axis anymore. It's about understanding how Matt Sura can be best of service to the industry as a whole, because we're all going that route. We're all going for the spindle up time. And from my perspective, for what it's worth to our global audience out there, a lot of the machine shops that have something other than a five axis, it's because it's been there a while and they're sure. constantly trying to figure out how to improve on that, whatever it might be, right. to get more associated with that five axis. But investing in something like this allows that spindle uptime to be there, which allows that ROI to be super quick in that investment as well. Certainly, you know, for 30 years, we've been making five axis automation. We built a MAM to make our machines and then we decided that we started making MAMs for the general public and for the, for the manufacturing world. So every machine that goes out the door has the Matsura name on it. We're on our fourth generation. Can you imagine the, the, the pleasure, but also the stress of the cop, you know, that comes along with every machine that leaves the floor has your name on it, the Matsura name on it? So from a five axis perspective, from a palletization perspective, um, we're committed to that world. Now there are other builders that make other things and we make other things, but we understand that five axis automation is our strength and it's our place in the, in the, in the industry and it's where we're headed in the future. It's our commitment. We like to talk about the entry level, the MX330 PC10, so 10 pallets. That's kind of the entry level, the lower cost version. If somebody, we, we always consider cost. We're not, we're not naive. There are people that have to consider cost these days. And then we graduate to maybe, you know, that's the, that's the pal same pallet size as the 35V that we're standing in front of. And then there's the 520 PC4, which you're gonna see later with Kyle and, and KCS. Um, and again, it's a four pallet system and it gives the, 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 the customers the opportunity to run unattended with four pallets. And we can go as high as 32 pallets. Wow. In a, in a 35V. Um, we do have horizontals with 15 and 18 pallet systems. So that's our specialty for sure. The, the self-contained Matsura owned palletization that's part of the system. It is a system. It's not a separate third party system that has, as Kyle said earlier, that has to figure out how to communicate and maybe they don't like each other all the time. Ours like each other all the time. That control right there is the same as that control right there. Um, dating back, I've been in the business for a long time. I was a programmer, I was a machinist. Five axis scares me. There's a lot of things moving at one time. Can you imagine programming five axis? Well, the, the software does it for us now. We don't have, you couldn't hand write five axis programming. Impossible. 
but the software does it for us. Well, what we do at Matsura, we offer you the next best thing to absolute certainty of collision uh, protection. So any software that you use, most every software that you use, we communicate, we run that, and Camplete is an actual post processor. So take your NC file, run it through Camplete, and it'll do the collision check and do the, there's always the possibility for collisions, but the best we could do to, to stop you and, and, and prohibit something from going on in the machine. We provide it with every machine that we sell on the five axis side. Uh, fantastic, that makes sense. Um, I've definitely crashed a few machines. I could have uh, used it myself. Yeah. If you listen to Kyle with KCS machining, he said it best when he said, when the machine hits the floor, it's our job to build a machine that's reliable and accurate from the first part. Not the hundredth part, not, we want it to, when you hit cycle start on the first part, you make a good part. And that, that's what separates us from some of the others. Fantastic, Billy, you're amazing. Thank Thanks you. for sharing this information with the global audience. Extremely informational. I wish you guys all the success and we'll continue to grow, yeah? Thank you, Tony. Thanks for what you do.